This is my winter springtime lip drawn van quiver. These are the four boards that I keep in the van uh, throughout the season. Um, I like floaty boards. Now that I'm getting older, and we've got to wear these crazy wetsuits and seven millimeter booties basically year round. Uh, it just makes sense for me to have more foam now. I just wanted to show you guys these. And the cool thing is, they're pretty much absolutely bulletproof. So you can just throw them in the van and it's all good. Like, dude, they're insane. So for the springtime, I make sure that I always have my 8 pickup stick. You can go with the single fin. I think the seven inch fin goes great on this because you can still go turbo. But then you can put in the side bites if you want. I'm cleaning the, uh, the so-called wax job on the other side off. This one over here, this is my go-to when the waves get big. Uh, it's a 6-0 round nose fish. It's a mayhem. Um, the whole deal is, is up here, a lot of people are on small boards, but uh, we're at least wearing 5 millimeter wetsuits. In the winter, I wear a six mil because uh, you can surf an hour longer than everybody. <laughs> uh, but it's like if you have all that, all that what have you on, you, you need something that's gonna float. So I went from surfing boards that are about 30 liters to uh, now it's like 35 to 37. In the summer, it'll change when I can wear the four mil wetsuit. But uh, this is the Rocket, the Redo, and. Uh, yeah, I really like this board, but I had some of the Chris Christensen fins that I was using on the round nose fish for about six or seven years, and they finally bit the dust. So I ordered these Ho Stevie ones because they looked all right, but I'm pretty sure he sent me the wrong fins, and they seem kind of flimsy, but I have not surfed them yet. And then uh, I put the trailer in because in case that's the thing, but I want to try all these different fin setups on these boards and then this board right here this is the swordfish the Kolohe and Dina and uh, I just traded Simon because I had a smaller version of this board and for me like I said I'm changing now to where I need more foam plus I'm 41 years old so not really trying to impress anybody I'm just trying to have the most fun that I can possibly have every time I surf uh, and this one's 33 and a half liters and it's cool because it's basically kind of like my short board uh, but yeah I'm to the point where it's like I mean you can this board's probably four years old I don't even know um, and then I eventually just hand down all the boards as I as they're like busted or whatever years later I just pass them down to all the groms so this is my buddy's house who's a grom out here and I'm lucky enough that he gives me the space when I cruise through to mess around with all these boards. But I just figured I would show you. It's like they're seriously bulletproof. And uh, they work great. Especially if you have a van or something and you don't really like using all the board bags. If you hike all the time. But what I do is I just throw them in. And uh, when it's time to sleep, I move them all from that side over to this side. When it's time to cook, I move them from this side to that side. So they literally are in the van all the time. But it's pretty sick because you got a traveling quiver, you know? Yeah. So I was going to get all stoked and clean all the wax off and all that jazz. But it's pretty difficult to do in the northwest if you don't have a heat gun. And so... I'm just going to keep ripping them how they are and keep adding more wax and then when the day comes I'll be able to uh, take all the wax off. I'll do it. So, yeah, but hopefully uh, I'll, I get to take one of these boards out for a surf tomorrow because it's been a long time since I've been in the water. And uh, it's going to feel amazing. I'm not even going to check the forecast. I think I'm just going. Which sometimes I think that's the best way to go about it. Especially if you haven't surfed in a while, because uh, there's nothing that'll hold you back. You're just you're going. And this one, I got a hike, so it's just like once I get there, I'm going surfing. So yeah, this is my Libtron Van Quiver. 
for springtime 2022 2022 yeah some winds here but uh like I said before the goal is just to catch one way if I catch three I'm in the bonus uh I might even just go on some little ones. All right, so there you go. There's my breakdown of uh, my Libtron Van Quiver for the, well, I guess the winter. I'm getting some new boards for the spring. But you can check it out. I'll put a link, I don't know, there'll be a link somewhere. Or you just go to lib-tech.com and uh, you can scope out what boards are good for you. But I'm telling you, they're the best combat wilderness surfing boards that you could ever experience anything on. Um, they're so strong and when the waves are good, they go good. Um, that last video was like 40 mile an hour winds. But I had more fun than if I didn't go surfing. So get in the water and uh, yeah. Have a great one. Thanks for the support. And you can always uh, click that button if you want. You know, that button that says subscribe. That'd be pretty, 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 pretty wicked. So thank you. Have a good one. Bye.